enemy sighted. All targets eliminated. All targets eliminated. Perimeter secured. Negative contacts, Commander. Hostile spotted.
got him, Commander. I can't get there.
equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, 5th Fleet. Commander Shepard, SSV Normandy. You don't know who I am, do you, Commander? I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. Then the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. I still serve the Alliance, sir. As a Spectre, I can advance our interests to the Council. Hmm. You still know what color your blood is, Shepard? I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. The Normandy is a fine ship, sir. She's served us well so far. It's a gimmick, Commander. Useless in a stand-up fight. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. We'd be honored to show her to you, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. Commander, I'm not happy. Sounds like a fairly common situation. Commander, I suggest you secure your mouth. It's going to get you in trouble. Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? Modified Turian style. They prefer commanders looking over their subordinates rather than in the middle of them. We wanted to see how effectively they can command with that setup. Hmm. Reasonable goal, but they should have studied that in a lab rather than on a frontline warship. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours, 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless! We can loiter in an enemy system and monitor traffic, or drop infiltration teams on enemy worlds. Normandy can be more effective than the Solarian STG. Maybe, maybe. But that's not the job of a proper warship. We're supposed to find and kill the enemy fleet, not count how many times their garrison goes to the bathroom. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? A Sarin? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment. I'm sorry you disapproved, sir. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? None, sir. Very well. 
Your opinions have some merit, Commander. I'll take them into consideration when I write my report to the Joint Military Command. Not that I expect them to do anything about it. Too many interest groups have too much money invested in this. Commander Shepard? Presidium technicians are struggling to understand why a computer system catastrophically overloaded recently. Technicians are reportedly unsure of what caused the malfunction, or even what the system was originally designed to do. CSEC is investigating the possible vandalism or misuse of public property. Commander Shepard. Sorry to bother you. This is Lieutenant Girard down in the docking bay. There is a woman here. Uh, she was rescued from Batarian slavers a few weeks ago. She is from Mindoir. I guess she was taken in the raid on your town. She's been a slave for the past 13 years? Is she all right? Not really. She's a little messed up. She got free somehow, grabbed a gun from one of my guys. Now she's holed up here in the docking bay. She, uh, she says she wants to die. I hoped you'd talk to her. It's a long shot, but you went through the same thing. The raid. I figured maybe you could talk her out of her tree. I'm on my way, Lieutenant. Sit tight. Anything you could do would be great. I don't want to... Uh, she's been through enough. I'll have my men stand by for you. Kalisa been seen in Aljalani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? What do you want to know? You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? I try to keep in mind that it's just another form of duty. I still wear a uniform. But there's a difference between protecting human interests and citadel interests. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So, the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? Saren instigated the attack on our colony at Eden Prime. Once his involvement was proven to the Council, I was assigned to bring him in. That's... Surprising, Commander. The official line says Eden Prime was attacked by rogue synthetics. Good luck in your mission. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard.
Is there something else I can help you with, Commander? I should be going now. Have a a pleasant day. I know you. You're Commander Shepard, the Human Spectre. Is there something I can do for you? You're Nasana, right? I ran into your sister, Dahlia. It didn't end well for her. What? Are you saying she's... Dahlia's dead, Nasana, and I know she was blackmailing you. Hmm. And I was all set to try to manipulate you into hunting her down for me. But I guess that won't be necessary now, will it? You wanted your sister dead? If people found out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. They'd revoke my clearance, or place me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. I shall transfer a little something into your account as a token of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find the amount satisfactory. You're a diplomat on her way up the ranks. It could be handy to have a Spectre who owes you a favor. You make a good point. Anyone can come up with credits. But I can give you authorization to purchase prototype Asari mods. I will get you added to our manufacturer's preferred client list. I think you'd be very interested in what they have available. Goodbye, Shepard. It has been a pleasure doing business with you. This place seems strange. I wish there were more humans around. So, I only hope you're better than the one they're sending you after. I'll do everything I can to stop Saren. Hmm. That's what worries me. Was there something you wanted? I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Commander Shepard, could I have another... Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. That seems like a step down from wide-scale corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. 
If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. If you crack this story, what's likely to happen? Ideally, there will be calls to improve working conditions by hiring more controllers and upgrading systems. The Council won't pay for improvements voluntarily. This story will provide that pressure. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. Hello again. Is there a problem? I'm not detecting any signals from the bug yet. Could you tell me where you want me to plant the bug again? In the space traffic control room. Ideally on a terminal that gives me a good view of the room. I'll let you know when it's done. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the Counselor's assistants. Commander Shepard, isn't it? My name is Admiral Kahoku. Is there something I can do for you? You send a recon team out into the Artemis Tau Cluster? Yes, that's right. They went missing a few days ago. I've been trying to find out what happened to them, but I keep getting the runaround from Alliance Brass. Do you know something about this, Commander? They were killed by a Thresher Maw. A Thresher Maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a thresher nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance distress beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the thresher nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance beacon used as bait. My unit wiped out. And nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? The Traverse is a rough place. We're out there quite a bit. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Any idea why someone would attack them? Privateers, slavers, mercs looking for an easy score. There's a lot of nasty sorts out in the Traverse. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. What kind of ship was it? Don't let the name fool you. The Majesty's just a small trading vessel, only a handful of crew. But he kept it in good condition. But they don't have any real weapons or shields. If anyone did come after them, the Majesty'd be a sitting duck. Isn't anyone else looking into this? My brother's just a small independent trader. Ships like his disappear in the Traverse all the time. What's in this for me? I can't afford to pay you anything. If I had that kind of cash, I'd have hired a recovery team to track him down on. Maybe you could look into this as a personal favor, you know? We humans have to stick together. If your brother's still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him.
Hello, Commander. Good to see you, Commander. Hello, Commander. Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, oh, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. I'm already getting readings. This is gonna make a great story. Thank you so much for your help. Here, this is everything I've got from my publisher's budget. I did this as a favor, Ms. Wong. You're on your own now. Of course, Commander Shepard. I won't trouble you any further. Thanks again for your help. I'm gonna show this to my publisher. Tally, are the Quarians concerned that the return of the Geth will lead to more anger against your people? The Geth killed billions and forced us from our homeworld. Most Quarians believe we have paid properly for our mistake. I hope the other races view matters in the same light. Commander, glad to see you.
She's back there? Yes, sir. Behind those shipping containers. I've got a sniper position, but I don't think we'll need him. She's only a danger to herself. We've got a sedative to calm her down, but we can't get close to her. Every step we take gets her more wound up. You seem awfully worried about her. I... I I'm just doing my job, Commander. You seem awfully worried about her. I... I I'm just doing my job, Commander. I hope I don't need it. Tell your men to stand by. Don't push her too hard. If she seems liable to pull the trigger, back off. Or walk away. I am willing to wait her out. Good luck, Commander. Strange. Stop! Stop! What are you... What are you... My name is Shepard. Lieutenant Gerard sent me to talk to you. What's your name? Animals don't get names. The Masters put their symbols on her. Hot metal all over her back. She screams when they do it. You're not an animal. Your parents. What did they call you? Do you remember them? She remembers a lot of things. Talitha. They call her that. She... She doesn't remember the rest. Leave her alone. What's the last thing you remember from Mindwar? Fires. Smells of smoke and burning meat. Animals screaming as the masters cage them. As they put the metal to their backs. She pretends to be dead. If she's dead, she can't work. She didn't fight. She was already broken when they put the wires in. With everything that happened that day, no one could blame you for hoping they'd just go away. She can. She can blame her. Stupid! She's stupid and she deserves to be dead! How did you get here? Did you escape? She can't escape. They have chain. Animals like her come. She tries to fix the masters, so they won't be mad at her. She puts all the reds and purples back in, but they don't move. The other animals take her. She doesn't want to see other animals. If the animals can... This doesn't... It happens to her. Doesn't it? They see her, so it's... I was on Mindwar. My parents died Lying! Away. You get hit for lying! Get the buzz or the burning. Can't be there. Why are you alive? Why are you? Why aren't you like her? Broken. Only fit to dig and carry. For a while, I was broken. I lost my whole family, Talitha. My friends. My childhood. I had to pull myself up and keep going. You lose your mommy and daddy. But you don't dig. You don't care. She wishes she could stand up. What happened to your parents? There's... She sees them. Shh! She doesn't want to see that! Don't make her look! Don't look! Stupid, stupid! I know it hurts, Talitha. I'm sorry. But you need to deal with this. What happened to them? Think. When she thinks, water comes out of her eyes. She sees them. They're dead, Shepard. Can she stop remembering now, please? I'm going to take a step towards you now, okay? No, she's no good! Don't want to be handled again! I'm going to take a step towards you now, okay? She doesn't want... Don't touch her! I'm going to take a step towards you now. Okay? Please don't touch her! She's dirty. You'll catch it.
Talitha. This will make you sleep. If you fall asleep, they'll take you to a place where you can get better. Will she have bad dreams? You'll dream of a warm place, and when you wake up, you'll be in it. She'd like that. It hurts when she... When I remember... me. But she wants to remember. Is it over, Commander? She took the sedative. She wants to get better, Lieutenant. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot. I didn't want to hurt her. It's just... when I see her curled into a ball and shivering... She was only six when they took her. Why the hell are we out here if we can't even keep one little girl safe? Bad things happen to good people, Lieutenant. That's why you and I are here. Don't wring your hands over her. Help her. Yes, sir. Thanks for your help, Commander. We are taking her to a counseling center. They'll help her get better. It was the Turians who first suggested creating a single organization to maintain order on the Citadel. Perhaps that is why more than half the force is Turian. Quarians aren't too popular with Citadel security. They think we're all beggars and thieves. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Commander, something you need? I have to go. All right, see ya. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. She shouldn't have ambushed you like that. But you handled it pretty well. She wasn't the most sympathetic audience. You handled yourself pretty well, Commander. She came across like a raving idiot. There is one other matter, however. The Citadel has been trying to play down Saren going rogue. It makes the Spectres look bad. 
Your mention of him was politically inconvenient. How angry was the Council? About what you'd expect. Don't worry too much about it, Commander. They're always angry with us. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. Message for you, Commander. Just came in over a secure channel. Shepard, this is Admiral Kahoku. I found out who set that trap for my men. The ones killed by the Thresher Moor. Damn, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Serpers. An Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments, trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This... This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me.
equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. I am curious about the helmet you always wear, Tally. Does it contain technical augmentation systems? No, living in the clean environment of the flotilla has weakened our immune systems. The environmental suits protect against diseases. I suppose that makes it more likely you will return from your pilgrimage then. You are only truly safe on your flotilla. Any news? Did you find my brother yet? I found your brother's body. His ship was attacked by privateers. Willem's... dead? I guess I should have expected this. When his ship dropped out of contact, I just knew. But I kept hoping he might still be alive. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you for finding him. It's better to know one way or the other. That's what they say, right? Please excuse me. I need to go make arrangements for his funeral.
Welcome back, Earth Clan. Will you be needing supplies for your return to the colonies? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. Hey, there are rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. That's incredible. Being a specter is a big responsibility. I just want to make humanity proud. The vids are all talking about Commander Shepard fighting for all of us back home. And they also say that you don't take crap from anybody. You're showing them what humans can do. Hey, can I get your picture? I don't have a problem with it, but why? You're a hero, Shepard. Decades from now, humanity's going to remember you, and I'll have your picture. Just hold up your gun. Perfect. Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. A few of my people have visited here on their pilgrimage, but their descriptions of the wards hardly do them justice. I am not used to this kind of environment. Too much time working by myself, I suppose. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want... Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I... Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want... Oh, you will be pleased, I think. I need those supplies for my clinic. I can't. You can and you will, or your story won't stay secret for long. Don't disappoint me, Doctor. Oh, Commander Shepard, I didn't see you come in. Every time I come in here, I see someone threatening you. Who is that? Someone from my past. I can take care of it. Just tell me what's going on. I was fired by my previous employer for giving out free medical supplies to clinics like this. They never filed any charges, they just wanted me to leave without any fuss. But somebody must have found out. Now they are blackmailing me. I have to give them what they want. If the board finds out about my past, 
I could lose my license. They'll shut my clinic down. Maybe I can get you out of this. Tell me what they want. I have to give some of my medical supplies to a merchant in the markets. They expect delivery today. Give me your contact's name. I'll deal with this guy, whoever he is. Deal with him? But won't they expose my past? I'll make sure they don't tell anyone. I was told to speak with a merchant named Morlan, down in the markets. I really appreciate this, Commander. Thank you. You're a doctor. How did you end up here? My parent. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive. Let me take a of look. Of course. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? You were expecting a delivery of medical supplies? But I was told the doctor would be bringing them. Things have changed, Marlin. A change, but the doctor... I don't... This is not right, human. Shut up, Marlin. I told Baines you'd screw this up. What the hell's going on here? Who are you? Leave the doctor alone. We can end this if you just bring me those supplies. Otherwise, I'll start telling people about the doctor's little secret. You're shutting down a medical clinic. What if someone needs treatment? What if you need treatment? Hey, hold on! I'm just the middleman here. This is way more than I bargained for. Thank you, human. It is good to see him humbled so. What do you know about Baines? I have never met him, human. I only worked with the one who spoke with the doctor. What do you know about Baines? I have never met him, human. I only worked with the one who spoke with the doctor. Goodbye. Yes, all right then. Good tide. Peace to you, human. Best place on this ward to buy upgrades. Commander, how did things go? He won't be bothering you anymore. Really? That's a great relief, Commander. Thank you. I can't pay you for your help, but I can give you a discount on any supplies you purchase here. The thug said he worked for a man named Baines. Sound familiar? Baines? I wonder if he means Armiston Baines. We worked together a long time ago. What can you tell me about him? Last I heard, the Alliance military was contracting him for some research in the Traverse. Perhaps Captain Anderson will have some knowledge about this man. 
We'll see what the captain can tell us. I wish I could tell you more. Is there anything else I can help you with, Commander? Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Reporter Kalisa Algelani recently attempted to land an interview with Commander Shepard, the first human specter. Commander Shepard answered difficult questions, demonstrating that under that military uniform is a keen diplomatic mind. We'll have exclusive footage later today. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Message coming in, Commander. Big surprise, the Alliance needs you again. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. An Alliance officer named Major Kyle has set up a small compound in the Hulking Hedda Cluster. He's attracted a number of followers, mostly biotics. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance, and we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. What kind of proof do you have that the Major is dangerous? Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. They've disappeared. We believe Kyle and his followers killed them. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. You said his followers were biotics? Yes. Major Kyle never showed any biotic tendencies himself, though. I think he's just latched onto a group he identifies with. Many biotics feel marginalized or ostracized. Unfortunately, he's convinced them that the Alliance is somehow responsible for all their problems. We can't let him go on like this. What were those Alliance representatives going to talk to Major Kyle about? They wanted to bring him back to an Alliance facility for treatment. Major Kyle served us faithfully for many years. We weren't going to abandon him. Given his state of mind, however, he probably saw them as a threat. We're almost certain he had his followers killed him. What else can you tell me about Major Kyle? He used to be a model soldier, but something happened to him at Torfin. Too many Alliance soldiers died under his command. Couldn't cope with the guilt. 
His psych evaluation showed he couldn't handle the stress of command anymore. We'd hoped he would get better in time, but we underestimated how far gone he was. Now it looks like it's too late. I might be able to end this without violence. That may not be possible, Commander. We don't want a bloodbath, but Kyle is dangerous. I'll trust you to use your judgment. Hack it out.